So as you guys probably know, about a month ago, Mario 3D World re-released on Switch, but came with a new game mode called Bowser's Fury. And you know what? Bowser's Fury is too easy of a game mode, so today I'm going to make it harder. Here are the rules for this challenge. No running, no killing enemies, no power-ups, skates, or helicopter cubes, just Mario in his base form. And specifically, small Mario only. Only regular jumps, so I'm pretty well getting rid of all those other movement options we have, other than single A presses. No diving as well, and no using Bowser Jr. in any way. This video is kind of like the sequel of my hardest 3D World Challenge video with similar rules, but some modifications were needed here. Still though, one of my main hindrances in the run is my move set. I can literally only walk, jump, ground pound, and wall jumps are okay as well, since you only need one A press. Any other option though is off limits, including power ups too, and this creates one of the major challenges in this run, which is thinking of workarounds or other ways to get shines that require a certain power up to get them. Or at least it was designed to be completed with a certain power up, because there are some other methods that I discovered in this run. Also, I made the separate rule of only small Mario, and this is just because many times in this run, the game loves to give the player the big mushroom power up at random points. This can be any time you load a save file, or if you die. So if this happens, I have to take damage and return to where I was when I got the power up and then continue from there. The other major challenge is just my jumping and movement. I walk slow and my jumps barely go anywhere now, so precision is very much needed in this run. And then the final big hurdle will be having to avoid killing every enemy. This can be pretty annoying when you're just trying to traverse the islands, but it's especially problematic when cat shines are blocked because you need to defeat a boss or kill some enemies for the shine to spawn. So some more work around are needed here as well. The only enemy I'm really gonna exclude from this is Bowser and that's just because, well, his boss battles are required to beat the game, but everyone else is off limits. Plus, I mean, we don't really kill Bowser in this game, do we? And lastly, yes, I'm setting help from Bowser Jr. to none, and I'm not gonna click the R button at all, which normally controls him. And this renders him basically useless. I just did this because he would make a lot of the challenges way too easy, since he can collect pretty well any collectible and kill enemies normally. And there you have it, the stage is set. The goal of this run is to collect 50 cat shines and defeat the final boss Bowser at the end. And while it may seem like a simple premise at first, this run quickly turned into the hardest challenge I've ever done in any Mario game ever for that matter. Like I was actually surprised how hard this run was at the very end, so you're gonna wanna stick around for that. Let's just get into this. The run starts off as expected. We are big Mario, so I just swim in some goop for a bit and we're good to go. And the first cat shine is pretty straightforward, easy. But then I realized you get turned back into big Mario every time you get a shine for some reason. Guys, would you knock it off with the power-ups? I'm trying to do a run here. But whatever, go for another swim and talk to Bowser Jr. And let me say, this squished version of Mario looks pretty hilarious here. So the first island we got is designed all around the cat power-up, but it's still fairly simple to do without one. However, the next shine on this island already gives us some issues. This is because you have to kill this Shadow Blob Luigi to get the shine, which obviously we can't do. I tried even following him around for a bit to maybe see if he'll run into anything and damage himself, but no, you actually have to kill this guy. And unfortunately, this showcases a reoccurring roadblock for us throughout the run. You see, how these cat shines work is that there are five of them on each island, and for the most part, they have to be collected in a certain order. So because we can't collect this second shine on the island, the third shine will never appear, and we can't even attempt it for that matter. There are these Bowser blocks and five cat shards on every island that, for the most part, can be collected in any order that don't follow this rule. But that's assuming you can reach all the shards which I can't do here because this one requires a cat suit to climb up on this gate. The Bowser block one I can collect, but that's still only two out of five shines in total for this island. Then we get to the next area that just has a bunch of enemies that you need to kill in order to get the cat shine. Oh yeah, we're starting off with some great shines for a run like this here. If these guys are still alive, the shine literally won't even spawn. But what if I don't technically kill them? See, when you're just standing around here, these bullies will try to run into you, causing themselves to get knocked back while they smack you. And if you stand in certain spots, you can cause them to smack themselves back to their death, all without you being the one to actually kill them. I mean, that's the logic I'm going with here. Like if you were standing next to a cliff and someone tried to push you off, but in turn knocked themselves off the cliff, would you really be the one who killed them? 
No, of course not. So we don't count this. This allows us to continue on collecting these shines until the last challenge, which is to defeat a bunch of wizards that we can't push off this time, so we move on from here. The next island is more of a platforming challenge that comprises of these bounce pads. I could generally bounce around and avoid all the enemies here, even with my limited moveset. It only got tricky when I had to get the five cat shards. This one was in a tight spot here since the whole line was blocking it essentially. But Mario is one sneaky Italian man and there was barely enough room to get by. Bowser Jr. on the other hand wasn't so sneaky and let's just say the mob took him. But the real difficult shard here was this one. At first glance there really wasn't a way to get it without killing any of these troops. I needed some help with this one. I needed to befriend a new ally. What if the person I was against this whole time could actually be my greatest asset? Yes, I got Bowser to go in fury mode and kill these enemies for a clear path and an easy cat shine. And with this new knowledge in mind, I then went back over to the flying wizards and got Bowser to kill these guys giving me another shine. Look, it's not the partnership anyone expected, but it's the one that this run needs. Then I was trying to think of a way to get the shine up here that normally requires a cat suit to hit this gear, but luckily though, since I cleared every shine in the previous island, it spawns this flagpole which I could use to swing right on top of the shine here. Then with all these intro islands out of the way, we get to the first Bowser fight, and of course, we have to get the super bell to start it. Uh, okay, really? Come on, I'm trying to do a power up list run here. What don't you understand about that? But whatever, hug Bowser for a little bit and then become small Mario and do the fight like this. After that, we unlock Plessy. Yeah. And even though I banned power ups, propellers and skates, I'm going to allow using Plessy. Why you ask? Well, because Plessy ain't no power up. He's a dinosaur being. Plus, come on, do you really expect me to swim across to all these islands? That's just tedious. But moving on, we get to the first snow area in the game. This island is all about ice skating, so obviously we're gonna need some workarounds. Luckily, they give you more than enough room on the sides to take a nice Sunday stroll right by everything. And the first shine was completely possible. But that's about all I can do here since the next shine required me to get these three coins and they're right over these spikes. Normally the skate will protect you if you skate right over it, but without it, there was really no way of getting these coins. Whatever angle you come at it, I always died. Even Bowser Jr. was too high to collect them, so this is yet another impossible shine, so let's move on. We do fare a bit better on this invisible island here. While it is pretty annoying to traverse this landscape in this way, it's still entirely possible. And trust me, I really wanted to kill these spiky boys over here because they made this a lot more irritating than it needed to be, but actually halfway through this part, my homeboy Bowser came through and made it even better for me. He caused it to be very easy to see big chunks of this place and even gave me bouncy platforms that boosted me right up. Hey, thanks as always, man. I was actually able to get every single cat shine in this place. But this success was short-lived with the following areas. Because the next island here is an arena where you have to kill a bunch of bosses. I even tried to get help from Bowser to see if he could kill the boss, but you're trapped in this arena border, making his attacks useless. I began to cower in the corner, as there was no use in trying to escape this cat being, but eventually I had to accept my fate and move on from this island, since every other shine was blocked. Or mostly, because Bowser did come through once again by spawning in some platforms that I used to get up to the top, allowing me to get the cat shards. This would normally require a cat suit to get up here, but not with Bowser. Then we got this vertical, windy, snowy island, and yeah, you're supposed to traverse this place using the propeller box, but without it, and with our limited moveset, it's not even close. There's no way I'm making it to the top. I even tried bringing Plessy up with no help. Even Bowser couldn't come through with anything as well. So this island gives us zero shines. Oh yes. We can still make it to the next Bowser fight though, but I'm getting concerned about reaching that 50 shine mark for the final battle. But anyways, why don't we move on to the last area in the game, the Bowser whatever place. And the first island that I tried was, <laughs> of course, another Shadow Luigi fight for the first shine. And this shine not only locks most other shines on this one island, but this one specific shine locks away another entire island by keeping all this goop here. Normally, once Shadow Luigi is defeated, the goop disappears and Bowser's Island Mountain opens up that gives you access to five more shines. But this is literally the only shine in the entire game that completely locks off an area like this. And of course, it's behind a Shadow Luigi fight. This was some terrible luck at this point 
point that made the rest of the run a lot harder. The next island I went to though was like this pipe place and luckily there's no bosses here. There's just a lot of precise movements needed here but I managed to get all the shines from it. Even got this last cat shard here which I guess you're supposed to use a fireball power up to break these spike balls but I easily went around. Then I needed to look elsewhere along the lake and did a bunch of simple Plessy shines. Nothing really too exciting though, I could just use Plessy's moveset. But this did allow me to increase the shine counter at least by a bit. Then I got to the last island in this place. And I'd say this was one of the hardest islands for this type of run. See it was made up of these rotating lava block platforms and was definitely more tricky to move slow and steady through here. Like if I got stuck in certain spots like this, yeah pretty well game over. Then I got to this wall in which I was trying to lure some bombs over to break it. I guess Bowser saw I was struggling or something so he gave me some more platforms to help. I did die a few times even after this which made it really annoying to have to slowly walk back up here and since it was so slow Bowser would just keep coming back by the time I was at the top and many times he would even turn on me and kill me. What are you doing man? Whose side are you on? With many more precise jumps though I was finally able to make it up. Most of the shines here were actually doable, like look at this sneaky path I found to get this key back. Just walk all the way across this railing. The only one I couldn't do was blowing up these bricks to get a cat shard because I couldn't kill the bomb or lure one over. So with the final area of cat shines out of the way, we are left with 43 shines. 7 short of 50, which is our goal. So I guess it's time to go back to previous islands and see if we can get more shines. But unlike 3D World, which is filled with many different levels to go back to if you missed green stars, this game really only has one small area to look for shines. So it'll be a lot tougher finding things we've missed. But there's no time like the present to start looking, I guess. Firstly, there was this one sneaky cat shard that I couldn't collect on the second island because it was behind a brick block, which I can't break as small Mario. Back then, I didn't have Plessy, but now I do, so I can just get him to break it. Then I thought of other ways I can use Plessy in the first area, and we come to the cat shards of the very first island. And well, looks like Plessy doesn't care about your cat suit either, because he boosted me right up into this cage. Assuming I timed the cage spinning correctly, but it still was possible. The other shards were kind of of awkward to maneuver and get, but after a good amount of patience, let's say, I got the shine. And there was another one just chilling in the lake that I totally missed or whatever. I don't know, maybe the waterfalls covered it or something, who knows, but I'll take it. Then I started looking for ways to lure a bomb over to these bricks right here in order to get the last cat shard. But as I was up here thinking of new ways to break it, Bowser just came along and did it for me. Sweet! I swear I didn't even know his fire can do that, but it's awesome. Yes, and now we are at 47 shines. We are getting close to our goal of 50 with a mere 3 shines left. So after this shine, I was at a loss. There seemed like there was no possible shines left to get. I tried so many different shines that I felt like there was nothing else left to try. There were just the impossible ones left. I can't even tell you the amount of time I just spent roaming around this lake in circles just looking for anything. And what didn't help this was at 47 shines specifically, Bowser now never goes away and always tries to kill you, so that's just fantastic on top of everything. Bowser, you turned on me! I literally had to reevaluate all my options at this point and went through every single island that wasn't possible that I skipped. But the boss battle island with Boom Boom still definitely was not possible. The vertical ice tower place, I literally could barely get any higher and that's not even close to the top so there is no way for this one too. And then there's the essentially three islands blocked because of Shadow Luigi bosses. I even tried to get Bowser to attack these guys with no luck as they dodge his attacks too. And that just leaves the ice slide island which I couldn't complete because of these three blue coins that spawn over the spikes here. And even if I could do that one cat shine, these cat shards were so high up without using the ice skate. This island was honestly looking impossible as well, but it was literally my only shot at saving and completing this challenge because there was no other way with every other area. They were completely out of the question. So I began thinking of ways to grab these three coins. Now I know I can't use the skate to get it, but what if I can use Plessy to grab them? I mean Plessy can literally smash through every other obstacle in the game, so I figured if I rode him into these spikes, I could grab the coins and get all the shines from this island. The cat shards could probably be collected with Plessy too. There's one small problem though. 
Plessy is all the way down here, and the coins are all the way up there. The only way to get to the top is to use these cannons, which Plessy obviously can't fit into. And even the bottom of this hill is elevated, so I can't go up this way either. Luckily though, Bowser provides these bouncy platforms once again, so I jumped on it with Plessy and... Oh, we just don't get bounced up. Only Mario on his own can use these platforms. Plessy is unaffected. See, at this point, I felt like the game really didn't want Plessy to go up on this island. But I continued to push through. See, while I was playing through this game, I noticed that Plessy has interesting collision when he interacts with certain objects. So I tried maybe going at these bounce pads and the walls from different angles while mashing the jump button. And maybe at first, yeah, that didn't work out so well. But after doing this for a little bit, I did have this happen to me once. Boom, you see that? You see how high I bounced? Well, I began to look more into this, and I discovered it was actually a glitch that people found with Plessy. And it's caused when you try to surface while hitting a wall. So I could see it. That was my ticket on making it up the mountain. Only thing is, I tried this a lot of times, and it was so inconsistent the amount that it boosted me up by. But after many attempts of ramming Plessy's head into a wall, I finally made it up there. Yes! And then two seconds later, I got hit with a fireball and died. But at least I knew it was possible, I guess. However, I needed a more consistent method of doing it. So I looked back online and saw a bunch of people do this weird boosting thing in the water to gain so much height, which sure enough launched me a lot higher. Even with this method though, it still was kind of a pain to get up, but it's the only method we have now. And then the climb began, and yes, this is where the fun begins. So I've done a few Mario challenges at this point, and honestly, this part of the challenge right here was the hardest obstacle I've faced in any Mario challenge ever. Harder than the flying skeleton part in the hardest Mario 3D World challenge, and even harder than the secret shrine in Serena Beach in my Mario Sunshine Jumpless run. So, let's just get to it. The route that I had to take up was firstly to go along this thin path over on the side here, and then use these fury blocks here to jump up on the next level. This was obviously easier said than done, since it was so easy to slip off, especially since Plessy has super slippery controls. And these controls were a big hurdle for this entire climb. But once I got up, comes the next wall. And this one was pretty precise as well. But by spamming the jump and going in certain spots, I got up here too. Then I boosted my way to the final climb, where the spikes were that the blue coins spawned on top of. I could see it, victory was so close. So I jumped on the final bricks, making it to the top and... The spikes killed me. This whole time, this whole climb, for a solution that didn't even work. I was sure Plessy could glide on these, but no, we still died. Was this it? Was all this work and effort for nothing? Has this run finally come to an end? <laughs> oh, if you think it ends like this, then you clearly don't know me. I don't give up from stupid meme runs that I create myself that easily. So, while I can't touch the spikes, there is this side rail that I can use to get around them, and I even barely dodged all the enemies up here from killing them too. This was actually really hard, just from how slippery the controls were. But that still doesn't solve the issue of the blue coins spawning on these spikes that kill me. Really quick, I did let Bowser kill all these Goomba enemies up here just to clear up my space. It was also probably more difficult than it had to be, just because I swear I left Plessy for like 5 seconds once to lure in some Goombas, and Plessy just decided to despawn, which was great. But now it's clear, so the focus is on the coins. A direct approach was clearly not gonna cut it. So I tried maybe using Plessy's huge hitbox to barely reach a coin as I stand on the side railing. But it seemed that every time I tried, I was just barely short of reaching the coin. And I must reiterate that Plessy is so slippery that many times he would just fall into the spikes on his own. Getting back up here took at least 5 minutes too, and probably upwards of 15 minutes if I messed up on the jumps getting back up, which often happened. So let's just say the price of dying was high, making it more nerve-wracking every time I was up here. And Bowser throwing fireballs absolutely everywhere didn't make this situation any easier. So I eventually realized that I wasn't going to be able to reach them from this side here. What I had to do though, was to move as close as possible to the coins, then jump towards the coins in the last second, and then thread the needle by landing on these boost pads in between the spikes to launch me in the next area. And wow, was this incredibly difficult and precise, but after many attempts I finally landed it. Then I continued down the mountain while getting the rest of the coins. This was incredibly stressful at this point since I was trying to be so 
precise with every movement I made. Then I was at the final spiky tube to go through. I was about to collect the last line of blue coins in the tube when... Plessy was just too fat to get in. No. No way, no way. We are not losing this battle so close to victory. I even got back to this point again and the hitboxes were so weird in this place. I don't know what to do here. This tube was honestly messing up the entire run. So, I tried one more time. One final Hail Mary in this run or I throw in the towel. Just join me in watching the insanity that happens in this third attempt. I get back to where I was and immediately mess up by missing one of the blue coins. Then I get stuck once again in the same spot so I turn around to go back and get the coin I missed, but accidentally in doing so I managed to squeeze through the spot I was stuck in and get those line of coins. Without wasting time I headed back to get the coin I missed only to turn back around again. Then Bowser just decides to shoot his fire right at me, in which I do a panic jump that almost kills me, but I sneak under his fire. I grab another line of coins and then get launched way too far by these boost pads, so I almost fly right off the platform, but manage to turn around and make it. Then the last blue coins were right there. Time was tight. The coins were flashing right in front of me and... We grab them and manage to get the cat shine. Whew. That's what you call a close one. And with this shine collected, we can use Plessy to jump to the rest of the cat shards and then get the last shine here, which is just bringing a key to the top. And that finally gets us to 50 shines, yes. So now we can fight the final boss battle and compared to all of this, it's pretty simple. That is what I call challenge complete. And there you have it. So if you guys want to see me do more difficult challenge runs like this one, then like the video as it shows me you're enjoying this style of content. Also, I really couldn't believe how hard this run got at the end, so I encourage you to do it in fact. If you can do the blue coin shine with this rule set that I just did and record it and send it to me, I'll post it on my Instagram even. How about that? Anyways, thanks for sticking along on this journey. I will see you guys in the next video.